Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, get your stylus out because it's time to play the mini games. If you've played Super Mario 64 DS, you'll find a lot of these mini games familiar because they are pretty much transferred from that game. <laughs> well, a lot of them are, there are some exclusives here. Anyway, let's start on the action tab here and play Snowball Slalom. All you have to do is roll your snowball you, by using strokes like this and you can direct it by angling your strokes and avoid the rocks, avoid, pff, avoid the rocks, avoid the uh, penguins, avoid everything, avoid the walls, you've got to make it to the end goal before time runs out. You can, eh. Sometimes bouncing off a wall makes things easier. And this is really hard to do on this emulator because <laughs> I have a rather small screen to work with in comparison to an actual DS. So I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to the end of this. <laughs> I guess we're going to see. Maybe I should really crank this up. Oh shoot, that's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, I know there's a little odd transition between screens. Um, that wouldn't be there because there's no... I mean, it wouldn't feel that way. Yeah, this is really bad. <laughs> in comparison to playing it on the DS. <laughs> um... Yeah, the transition between screens here would not look that way because the screens would be separated and thus would feel more natural than this as well. But it, it works to an extent. I would just like to get to the end, oh jeez, end once to see if I can do it. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull it off because this is really, really awkward. <laughs> and it, I mean, it controls difficult enough. <laughs> Anyway, that's the progress bar on the side there to indicate how close you are to the end, uh, end of the um, slalom here. I'm, not, I'm really not sure if I'm going to make this, and I can usually make it every single time on the DS because it's uh, um, they give you enough time to react to things, but having such a small screen to slide on, it's not user-friendly. Wait, 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 oh, I got it, yeah! <laughs> Woo! And yeah, as your snowball gets bigger there, it also gets more difficult to maneuver around this sucker, and I'm done here. <laughs> I did it. I completed it. I'm out of here. Alright, next up here, we've got Lakitu Launch. All you have to do, shoot spinies into the cups. Go, go, go! This should actually be easier um, than it would be on the... I mean, than it would be uh, compared to Snowball Slalom. Eh. Just try and predict where where they're gonna go, where they're gonna move. Also, if you're playing on an emulator, make sure to uh, take into account the transition between screens. <laughs> it's kind of awkward because it looks like they're perfectly connected, but they're not. They're really not. <laughs> That's all there is to this game, really, is you just throw stuff in there and aim for a high score. Not really all that interesting, if you ask me. <laughs> Looks like I got, got a lot more in the top than I got in the bottom. There's my score, 21. Blackjack. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> uh, next one is... Oh, this one's pretty tricky. Slide... Uh, you gotta um, group the ba bombs in... Oh wait, actually, oh, oh, this is the wrong game that I'm thinking of. You gotta avoid stuff with the bomb. Hold the stylish, uh, stylus on the bomb, and avoid the fire, avoid the sparks, avoid everything. Otherwise, you will explode because bombs explode when you know under the influence of heat. So yeah, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Just watch all corners at one time. Watch Bowser. Watch the fire. Watch. Oh, that was close. Oh boy. Please don't touch me. The hitbox of your bomb is actually pretty small in comparison to what it looks like, so you've got a little bit more uh, leniency than it actually looks like. But eventually, it's going to get to the point where it's oh! yeah, it's going to get so clumped that it's going to be really difficult to avoid stuff. <laughs> and that's the mini game in a nutshell. Yeah, your score is pretty much based off of how long you last. And yeah. And again, these minigames really aren't all that interesting in my opinion. Overall, I'm just going to go through them anyway. Alright, it's whack-a-mole time. Quite literally. Let's whack a Monty. Get ready. By the way, if you uh, whack Luigi, you lose points. Yeah, so don't hit Ouija. As tempting as it is to hit Ouija, 
Don't hit Ouija. Oh, look at that. Just piling up the corpses on the top screen. This, this most certainly is not kid-friendly in the slightest. <laughs> Touch Monty's with your stylus hammer to keep piling them up. Just look at them go. It's, it's a massacre. It's garden warfare. Stop beating my tomatoes. Yeah. And 48. <laughs> Alright, I'm done here. Again, not really all that interesting of a mini game. And next up, balloon racing with Yoshi. Ready? Wait a second. Am I able to do this? Uh, uh oh. 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 <laughs> I did. I forgot about this. I need a microphone attached, and I don't know how to configure the microphone in order to. Wait a second. Can I like? Isn't there a, something on the emulator that lets me blow using something else? Hold on a sec. All right, I've got a microphone attached now. Let's see how well this works. Gotta avoid the shy guys and get to the top. Uh, uh, trying to find some sort of sweet spot, <laughs> but it's not responding. I mean, it's sort of responding. <laughs> yeah, okay, this isn't working. <laughs> I guess I can't show all the mini games. Well, that's okay. Um, the objective is just to get all the way up to the top while avoiding shy guys. But yeah, this this isn't working <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm using a Guitar Hero USB microphone for the Wii, and it works for Windows too, but it's just not not receiving a good signal. Alright, so let's move over to the puzzles now. Um, this, this isn't really so much a puzzle as it is a, um, I guess you could say a, a Where's Waldo sort of thing. You gotta watch the top screen, see who is being, who is wanted, and you gotta click or touch the person on the bottom screen there, and yeah, of course, you know, it's Yoshi and you gotta find Luigi, and yeah, that's how it works, but it gets harder and harder as you go, and yeah, you see, you get, got more heads, and eventually they're going to start moving, yeah, moving, <laughs> and also those heads are going to be hidden behind other heads in groups such as this a little bit later on, so that's going to be extra special, tricky, and whatnot, and uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh no, yep, here's the movingness. Uh, this makes it especially difficult to sift through them quickly. There we go. <laughs> and Mario! By the way, um, it, it seems like you can click something above um, the face that you want to click on, and it'll still register as long as you're within the range of said face that you uh, tap on, and yeah. And I know I said click and then tap, but you know, it depends on where you're playing this. <laughs> uh, but as you can tell, this game can go pretty much on forever. <laughs> so, uh, well, I mean, I should say it can go on forever if you're really good at it. But uh, eventually I'm going to lose at it. Wait, was that? I thought I'd seen Luigi somewhere around there. Oh, shoot. Um, 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 scared. Lost Luigi. Luigi. Do you exist anymore? Are you gone forever? No, that can't be. They just loop around to the edge of the screen. Um. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. I seen it on the corner. Wait. Yes. Like, barely. Barely off screen. And obviously, you want to find it as fast as possible, whoever is up there, because, um, you know, you get five seconds per victory. But if you take longer than five seconds, you're going to lose time. That's how you lose the game. This is probably easier on a larger DS screen. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Yeah. I should probably unplug the microphone now. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was actually taking my signal in as my voice and it was doing like a... Um, I don't know, a, not a mirror, um, an echo effect. I mean, that's always possible that it'll do that. I mean, I already got sort of an echo where I'm recording, but <laughs> I like to have less of an echo than necessary, you know? I should say the least amount of uh, echo possible. Arr, eight seconds. Mario. Mario is usually pretty, um, pretty easy to find because he's got a red hat. 
Um, same with Wario for, for an extent, but uh, oh geez, his red hat's completely covered up, isn't it? Um, running on low on time. Uh oh, panic, panic, panic. Uh. By the way, if you uh, misclick, you will uh, lose time actually, so that's why I'm not um, like blindly clicking anywhere and everywhere. Like, watch this, I'll just, I'll purposefully um, click on the wrong ones here. Like, look at that, see? Lost 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next game. Let's see here. I'll probably end up going through all these games in this part, and it'll be like a final part of sorts because they're they're all really really quick. All right. So pick the wiggler that matches the wiggler on the top screen. Yeah. It starts out easy, but when they start moving and wiggling their body parts, not so easy. <laughs> Um, I usually start at the tail segment and then work my way down the body to uh, match up their types. And the, the types of body segments are typically this. Uh, well, I shouldn't say typically the same. They are. Um, uh, they have the same patterns except they're rearranged in different configurations. So once your once your eyes get used to oh shoot, all oh, poopers. Once your eyes get used to said. Uh, configurations and patterns you'll be like oh yeah I can pick these up pretty quickly but I'm a little bit rusty here <laughs> it's so it's it's another where's Waldo sort of game yeah it's again these games not really all that interesting <laughs> I'll, I should say most of them aren't really all that interesting uh, this one yeah because uh, they're they're all really linear and they don't ha really have all that much depth to them uh, overall. Some of them are even annoyingly luck based. <laughs> oh dear lord! Uh oh, ah, uh, cannot choose. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Mm -mm. panic! Uh -mm. Uh oh, <laughs> here's my last hope. Guess it was that one. That was mostly off screen. All right, whatever. That's fine. I showed you the mini game. We're done. I'm not having all that much fun with it, so I'm out of here. <laughs> Next up, get ready to find booze. All you have to do is just rub around, like see where the boo is, watch where they're going, and then when they vanishes, you gotta scribble around the screen to clear off the screen and find the booze. Uh, you can do this relatively fast, uh, if you watch where the boos are and then scribble across where you last seen them. Like see, I'm going to scribble straight across these lines here and oh, there they are. I do believe they move too, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, like they move until you find them just in the darkness. But yeah, uh oh, three of them. This might not end well for me. Oh, Alright, well. <laughs> And uh, as you can tell, the uh, clock does not regenerate its time, unlike the other Where's Waldo games in this mini game thing. So uh, uh, you can potentially lose pretty quickly on this if you aren't uh, at the top of your boo and scribbling game. <laughs> but of course, there's going to be. It's eventually going to come to the point where there's going to be so many boos that you're going to have issues with that, and you're eventually going to flub it. Uh, horizontal yeah okay this is again probably easier on the actual DS touchscreen because you know you have the border of the screen to prevent the stylus from going off the screen like that <laughs> but it's uh it's not impossible or anything like that it's just uh it's just a thing of uh, uh it would make it a little bit easier because you know you can even skim across the edges edges of the screen there really quickly if you wanted to then you know, using the edge of the screen as a guide, like a ruler or something like that when you're drawing. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Obviously, this is a uh, um, reference to Luigi's Mansion, despite it having the um, Super Mario 64 booze um, haunt, haunted house. Yeah, you. Oh, geez, five. Big booze haunt. That's the name of the world. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You really take a long time to count, don't you? I, I count a lot faster when I'm scribbling. 
In fact, I come a lot faster when I'm here, like there's four. But yet it, it takes so long. <laughs> yeah, they do stay within the darkness. Did you see that one j juggling around in the blackness? But they do move around in the darkness, so... Yeah. In theory, you probably, if you can, scribble all the pixels away off the screen within three seconds consistently. You could, in theory, um, play this game infinitely. But I'm getting kind of bored, so I think I'm going to forfeit the next one, unless it's interesting. <laughs> Let's see, we got five boos. Okay, I'll give it a try. Yeah, these, these games, not really the best in, oh, best in the world. Well, I tried, but I lost. <laughs> so I legitimately, legitimately lost there. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going here, quit. And now we go over to. Now, here is a real puzzle game. Yeah, this is like the only puzzle game of all the mini games in the puzzle tab, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, here we have a game. We gotta turn these panels, and when you touch a panel, all the adjacent panels turn along with it. And what you gotta do is match the, the um, pattern on the top screen. This is probably the best minigame out of all the mini games because it actually gets you thinking uh, as opposed to just randomly scribbling wherever you think a boo is or hoping that you'll find the Luigi or, or something. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here. Uh, one turn really? So it's gotta be this one. Oh ho ho! Oh and you also have uh, three tries on each of these. Uh, if you should fail, like I'm gonna purposefully fail this one. Um, well, oh, actually, this one's pretty difficult for a two-turner. Oh, wait, actually, maybe not. You flip this and you flip that, but I'm going to purposefully fail this. So you see these? Yeah. And then it tells you which ones you which one, wah, which one ones were wrong. I flip that and I'll flip that. Oh! That, that was the wrong solution. If, well, what, there's no such thing as a solution that is wrong. <laughs> um, wait a second. What if I did this and then this? Success! And then those uh, three hearts get regenerated on the uh, next one, basically. So you always have three tries to get through whatever they want you to get through. This one is a... Uh, this and this, right? Yeah! Gotta always think about which ones you might have to flip twice or even three times to uh, make it to your final destination. But yeah, that's, that's what makes this game the most interesting of all of them, in my opinion. Perhaps I should have saved this one for last, then. <laughs> Alright, one turn for victory. Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, that was a no-brainer. It's it's all randomized, so some are easier than others. Uh, when it gets to the, the three-turn ones, that's, that's when things start getting a little evil. <laughs> I think the three-turn ones start in, like, the double digits, like, maybe... 13 through 15 or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, that one and that one. They didn't even crisscross. They aren't even trying. <laughs> no, nah, actually, as I said, it's totally random which ones you have to flip. And, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, um. Wait. Oh, shoot. Wait. Um, ooh. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's, that's gonna mess me up. <laughs> Got the, I've got three tries here. Okay. So I need to flip this one, and then this one. Ah, uh, not the corner. I want to flip the edge one. Yeah, I jumped the gun there. <laughs> That's okay. That's all you have three tries. One turn. Looks more complicated than this. <laughs> Just a checkerboard. I like checkers, by the way. I like strategy games in general. Checkers, chess, whatever sort of strategy games. I'm not just a video gamer. I play all sorts of games in general, sports. As long as it's not painful. <laughs> Flip, and we're good. <laughs> Too much of a delay between uh, flips, I gotta say. I should say between games, I gotta say. <laughs> and there we go. I'm getting bored of this already. Hopefully I'll come to a point where 
I, uh, lose. <laughs> Sorry for being quiet there, I was, uh, looking over at something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright. Th uh oh, three turns. This could be the end of me? Or not? Oh, shoot. Wait, no, that's right. There's two ways to do that. Um, you could, I could either flip the corner and then flip the middle there, or, or did it that way. Yeah, okay. Three turns. Gotta make them all the same. Um, how about this first, then this, and then this? Yeah, I gotta even out the crisscrosses before you can uh, do the center ones. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh. Wait, no, they, this is easy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, these three, t <laughs> three turn ones are pretty easy so far. Even though I'm uh, getting pretty bored. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Now we've got something. Uh, let's probably like that and that and oh wait, no, no, that can't be. Yeah, because yeah, okay. So I gotta set that up ahead of time, and this, and then flip this. Right? Oh no, that's oh. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, I think we have a puzzler, folks. Wait, uh, how about flipping this? And flipping this, then flipping... No, that wouldn't work either. Because, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm spaced out too much. Oh, okay, it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't care about this game anymore. <laughs> it, it, as I said, it's probably the best of the mini games, but it is... It's not... Uh, it's still probably gonna bore you pretty quickly. <laughs> and here's another quote-unquote puzzle minigame. Just watch which blocks the coins fall into, and then tap the blocks to get the coins. Like, how how in the world is this a puzzle minigame? You, you're not really even thinking, you're, you're memorizing. Memorizing isn't a puzzle. <laughs> okay, those are the only ones I remember offhand. offhand. Uh, uh, mm, I'm not doing too shabby. Uh, you could really cheat this mini game though by recording the game like I'm doing now, and then um, uh, you know, uh, looking back at your recording to uh, see what you've got, and you know, just clicking the blocks that um, you know, that have coins in them, and that's all there is to that mini game really. If you want to get the get the best of the best score, I guess you could say. <sighs> I'm so bored. <laughs> Alright. Match cards. Let's see what we can do here. Another memorization phase thing. Yeah, we have three tries and you see you lose coins based on how bad your tries were. Oh shoot, I already lost track of, yeah. Because <laughs> I was pointing up there and I was poopy. <laughs> ah, it's okay, I was successful anyway. And then you win coins, uh, you know, based off of how many you actually manage to um, survive through. <laughs> and then you get more coins. I mean, I mean, and then you get more cards as you go, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, nope, nope. And this is, it's a sometimes unfair mini game, of course, because, you know, it's memory match. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was this one? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Because, you know, you've, you've only got three tries per round, and once you get past um, ten cards, I think, uh, it gets to the point where um, where you have a situation that you, that you can't, I mean, that you won't always choose or see two of the same cards in a round, and whoops, well, there goes that. But this game, as you can tell, goes on forever, and you'll just keep losing coins or gaining coins depending on how your uh, uh, performance is. So, yeah. Oh, and I should actually have a controller connected to this, shouldn't I? Oh, poopers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Why did I think that one was. I don't know. It's probably because I'm talking that I'm so bad at the memory game. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get out of here. Um, oh, shoot. I forgot to connect my controller. I actually had to restart the emulator to do this because uh, it wasn't registering my controller. There we go. Alright. That's gotta always connect the controller before you start 
whatever thingamabob you want to start. But anyway, I'm done with this game, so I'm going to go over to this one next, which is Picture Poker. Get a better hand than Luigi. Yeah, it's... Oops. Why did I do that? It's basically poker, but with Mario characters. The values um, of best to worst, you'll see on the... Uh, uh, bottom screen here, like C star is best, cloud is worst. Then at the top screen here, you'll see hands of uh, different kinds. You got f five of a kind, yeah. There's five of each card in this deck. Um, four of a kind, full house, three of a kind, uh, two pair, and one pair. And yeah, this is. I guess you could say it's sort of a luck-based game, but yet it's not because you can choose cards based off of the probability. And I, oh. <laughs> and you can also choose to uh, bet more depending on uh, the hand that you have, and I kind of bet before I even took my cards, you know, to swap, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. I was just sort of explaining things as I go. It's it's Mario-themed poker, basically. And, yeah, no matter how much you play the probabilities, you're probably still going to end up losing sometimes. <laughs> so, let's see, I'm going to play a little bit more here. I'll leave Mario in there. Is the best other card in my hand. Nope. Only got one pair. Luigi's probably gonna whip whoop that. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, and I didn't bet five coins. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. I'll save Mario and leave the shrooms. Oh boy, three of a kind. No, oh, poopers. Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> Uh, you actually got to pause the game using the controller. Uh, you know, it would actually be attached to the DS system, but it's not on the emulator. I really don't like playing on emulator. <laughs> but it's just not the same as playing on an actual console. But, you know, what else am I going to do in this sort of situation? All right, Paragon. Yeah, it's a, um, uh, a pun on the word, I mean, yeah, Paragon. And yeah, yeah, so anyway, what you want to do is sort of set up the top row so that you have um, a guaranteed setup, I guess you could say, of matching cards, if you can do that. Um, because as you see, how the, when you uh, pair up cards, it makes the rows shuffle over to this side, and then cards that overflow, uh, I mean, cards that need to go over to the next row end up going to this side, and it just keeps going over in this row like that until um, all the cards run out, and you can see how many cards are left in the deck over at the upper right corner of the touch screen there. So yeah, it's, it's a... this one does actually have a great deal of strategy to it, so maybe this is uh, the second most interesting game to that Yoshi puzzle game that I played a little bit earlier. Um, but, you know, it's like all the mini games, they'll, they'll get pretty uh, tiresome pretty quick. <laughs> Because it's a lot of the same. You know, there's not all that much variation in its design. I'm going to keep those two flowers together. Uh, match up these Marios. And then these clouds. And then these stars. And these flowers. And there we go. And just like all the other games, you can play this one infinitely. Well, not all the other games, but... Yeah, it just keeps going on and on and on. They, they eventually start adding more suits to it. Like Bowsers and Goombas and stuff like that. But... You get the gist of this game here, so I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> so that's all for the table games, and let's finish this off by doing the variety games. Honestly, this is where I think a lot of the game should have ended up in. <laughs> so all, all you have to do here is guide the stuff to the top over to the star. So we got Mario coming down here. You can only draw on the touch screen though, of course. So just draw like that. Yeah, it is um that roulette game. I forgot what it's called. I always forget the name of this game. It's a, um, a some lottery game. I mean, the name of it is some sort of lottery game. In that, um, yeah, I can't think of the name. Oh shoot, this is gonna go in the wrong area. <laughs> and there we go. And he eventually gets to the point to where um, it, you know it gets faster and faster. And you can even speed it up by using those, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> And also, you've got to draw lines above other lines because it just keeps going, you know, along those lines. You got to keep adjusting as you go. And I think if I do this, it should be fine. So, yeah, so it's a look ahead thing. Like, look where Mario is going and then um, revamp your lines as necessary. Um, where is this going to go? I should. Wait, wait. This is. 
No, shoot, shoot, no! Oh! I took too long. <laughs> well, that's the game in a nutshell. And there we go. I don't really care about the score. <laughs> I'm done. We're good. You know how to play it. Okay, this is the Babam game that I mis mistook the other one for. You gotta sort the Babams into their respective color slots. Black and the uh, black, red and the red. Well, that's actually more like a gray area, but yeah. <laughs> Get it? Gray area. Har, har, har. Maybe there's probably like 50 shades of gray in there too. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, so let's bomb it up, and eventually they're gonna come from both slots, and it's start, gonna start getting really overwhelming when like four come from each at the same time. And also, um, as you can tell, their fuses are going as well at the same time. So the game is keeping track of an, a secondary timer of sorts, in that if any bomb go, uh, goes off, they all go off. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh my. Oh. Such a small screen to work in. Not like DS screen. Hurry, hurry. Oh, geez. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Gonna explode. Not good. Hurry. Oh, geez. This is this is bad. This is really bad. They're gonna explode soon, or someone's gonna explode soon. Hand cramping from panic. Oh, shoot. I put one in the wrong one. <laughs> I thought I grabbed that red one there. Whoopsie! Actually, maybe they're pink the bombs because you know the Super Mario 64 ones were pink, and these these games came from Super Mario 64 DS. It looks sort of reddish to me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you know how to play that game. Oh, and uh, also when you fill up um, a whole stack full of the bombs, it'll clear out. I think it fills up to 20 on uh, each side, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't get enough of them to show that. But yeah. Another linear minigame knocked off. Alright, so we gotta jump on Fly Guys here by making Mario jump on them. By He'll fall on them automatically like this. Like that. And then you gotta draw a tramp. Wait, whoa, 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 what the? Oh, I thought I was drawing trampolines. Whoops. You gotta fling them off by touching them. Okay. Why did I think this. Or am I drawing. Hmm. I don't know. It seemed like. It looked like on the preview I was drawing there was trampolines on it. I guess not. <laughs> well, one of the games that you, you have to draw trampolines to uh, angle Mario's into uh, oh shoot, that one missed into uh, stuff and keep it alive, keep them going. By the way, as soon as you miss uh, three Mario's, the game is over. Oh jeez. Yeah, I said oh cheese. Oh. Ooh. The tiny shy guys pretty hard to aim for, but that's the point. <laughs> the whole idea between the, the issues that they give you here. Oh shoot! Oh, oh. I hate when they all go down at like the same time. And I think you can sort of kind of angle the Mario's where you want them to go by touching off to a certain side. Like touching on the left side of them will make them bounce off to the right, and vice versa with the left. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here. Oh, shoot. So, like, you're playing pool with, uh, Mario's in, uh, in midair. I'm doing fairly decent, though, keeping them around. But I'm gonna make a mistake eventually, and that's what the game counts on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. And there's my mistake. <laughs> game over. All right, done with that. I'm out of here. Of course, I'll get the highest score. I'll always get the highest score because there's no high scores in this ROM battery saver. Uh, next one here. Okay, so I wasn't drawing uh, the one I was looking at. Um, was the bottom right? I mean, the last one in the variety games here. All right, so you gotta knock the bombs out of the air by shooting them with the slingshot. Yep, it's another slingshot game. Oh boy. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, main game, way, way more fun than the mini games. Yeah, shooting a lack of tool will destroy everything on screen, but they're harder to hit because, you know, they're moving. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was a little bit weak. Whee! Eventually, it's going to get to the point where so many are going to appear on screen that they're going to threaten the flowers at the bottom there. Uh, too much for me to hold on with just one... 
slingshot here. Well, I shouldn't say that, it's probably possible with whatever formations they make, or maybe not. So this is sort of like Mario Missile Command. Uh, if you ever played the arcade Missile Command, it's uh, basically you prevent bases from being destroyed by shooting them. I, I, should say by, I should say by shooting missiles that are coming for your bases with your own missiles. And yeah, it eventually gets to the point where it gets crazy as well. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it really is a lot like uh, Missile Command overall. In fact, I would even call it a... I, I, I was gonna say blatant knockoff, but maybe not quite, because it's not... It's not the same, because the bombs can move in different directions, while the missiles in Missile Command um, can only move in straight lines and sometimes split off into multiple missiles along their paths. So, yeah, so it's maybe... it's not quite the same. It's, it's so weird looking at this, because I know there's a transition between the screens, but the picture... The picture looks perfect, <laughs> you know, between screens. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, this is, they're, they're coming in really fast now. <laughs> Did, oh, my flowers, no, not the flowers, anything but the flowers. Are those the flowers of some Super Mario, Sun no wait, they're not, they're not the su Super Mario Sunshine flowers, or like, sunflowers, weren't they? And you can let them go past the bases, and, I mean, not bases, but past the flower, okay, flower bases. <laughs> uh, just, you just gotta get the ones that don't hit the flowers. Or that won't hit the flowers, excuse me. I mean, you gotta get the ones that will hit the flowers, excuse me. What am I thinking? I don't know, I'm not thinking anymore. It's it's too frantic for me to think. But I know I do know that there's just one flower left to protect. And I will protect it with all the cannonballs I can possibly protect it with. And yeah, combo attacking the uh, b bombs as well gives you more points as you go. Like you see, it, it's, it's a lot like that... Uh, mini game that you can buy from that kid in that hotel in Super Mario RPG and the game is over <laughs> I mean a lot like that game too so it's like a hybrid between uh, Missile Command and that shell game that kid had in uh, Super Mario RPG all right next up the final mini game trampoline time all you gotta do is keep Mario up so we gotta Big trampoline to start with at the top there. We gotta get Mario up to the door too. So yeah, you gotta angle the door. I mean, angle the uh, trampolines to get Mario into the door like that. The smaller the trampoline, the higher Mario will bounce. I'm gonna make him go really high here. Oh no! Well, that's fine. Yeah, there's little safe spots that he can sort of land on, or I should say, they can sort of land on. And yeah, kind of, sort of. But uh, but you see, that's why. Uh, there's that spot to begin with because there's a door to get in over there as well and that it gets it gets pretty tricky when you have to aim for this lower door in all honesty e. and come on come on come on switch back to the top one eventually please um that oh shoot thank you i'm glad you grabbed onto the edge um that bottom trampoline there will last for three bounces so expect that you're gonna have some I should say leeway, I guess you could say, in in that some... Grab onto the edge, please. Oh, come on. Well, whatever. <laughs> that door open, thank you. Yeah. It's a pretty skill-based game overall. He's gonna jump right in there, isn't he? Oh, no. It's because the transition between the screen, I forgot. And... Nope, nope. You're not gonna be able to get in that door. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, if you're really strategic, oh shoot, uh, you could use those little platforms where doors aren't to, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, to, um, keep, shoot, <laughs> got a little frantic there, you could keep, you could use those doors to sort of stall Mario's from jumping down or falling down there, and yeah, Mario's, not the brightest of bulbs. Anyway, that's all the mini games. However, that's not all that I have to show you here in this walkthrough. There is a little teensy tiny bit left over here at this right here. Uh, first thing is that I did not show you the Mega Mushroom Houses because I thought it was kind of bad technique to always rely on said Mega Mushrooms to get through stages and besides Mega Mushrooms can destroy pathways over to wherever you need to go but no matter what when you go in one of these houses you will get a mega mushroom so yeah it's a 
pretty fast way to, I guess you could say, get through levels if you want to, but I, I should say a pretty fast way to get through levels you're having trouble with, but I wouldn't recommend that because it's not going to help your technique if you don't practice, so yeah. Oh, I can't actually... Oh my god, you can actually do that! Well, <laughs> I thought I was actually going to break those, but no, this works! <laughs> I never tried that before. <laughs> I'm glad I tried that. How far can I fly? How far can you fly? Who knows? But yeah, so there is that. Um, uh, oops, uh, wrong button. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is uh, go to Luigi just for kicks. And now when you beat the game, there's a secret special challenge mode code, I guess you could say. Pause the game on the world map. And then hit L R L R X X Y Y. Welcome to the secret challenge mode. Think you can reach the goal? If you get stuck, press start and choose return to map. Uh, what they mean by this is now what you've done when you un I should say unlock this or activate this is when you move forward. See that arrow at the the touch screen there? Now you can't go back. That's basically all there is to challenge mode, is that you can't go back. Um, what this does, is that it makes it so that some particular collectibles aren't possible to, to collect. So, it isn't really something that you could actually play and 100% the game on, especially since you have to beat the game, you know, first before even being able to use this. But yeah, it I wouldn't say it really makes the game any more challenging, other than the fact that you might on some like vertical stages like towers or something like that it'll cause you to um oh i should have tried to destroy the flagpole because there's a special thing mabob if you get to the flagpole in time um because if you um if you ever have to go back or you fall back to a spot in said tower yeah you'll you'll of course be stuck as a result of that okay i want to show you something else here if i can pull it off because I forgot all about this, is uh, if you manage to get to the... Actually, I should probably just go to a Mega Mushroom house and grab a Mega Mushroom. <laughs> and I want it to go a little bit for... Oh, shoot, you bounced backwards. You just ruined my entire plan. How could you? Oh, shoot, I want to return to the map. And I... And I also forgot to choose Luigi. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Gotta remember to hold L and R when I get into the... Uh, save file, but it doesn't really matter for what I want to demonstrate to you here. And I don't even have to be in challenge mode to uh, demonstrate to, uh, demonstrate this to you anyway. Because if you um, if you can make it to the end of a stage with a Mega Mushroom, you can actually demolish the end flagpole with it <laughs> and get three one-ups out of it. But the situations that you're able to do that in are slim um, in, in most circumstances because they, they typically don't expect you I mean, this, this is more of like a special thingamabob to, uh, for the super special speedrunners, I guess you could say, for uh, an extra special challenge for people to figure out on their own. But it's not something that you'll see uh, in a practical sense all that often. Oh, uh, nope, didn't make it to the end. That was really, was really... Oh my god, I actually made a situation where if I don't have a Mega Mushroom, I would lose the stage. Because I, I can't get up there now. Oh my god, I didn't know that would be possible on the very first stage of the game. I never thought of that before. But anyway, if you destroy the flagpole, you'll get something special. Oh, I thought, I thought you get three one-ups if you destroy the flagpole. Well, I guess I was mistaken by that. Also, um... Uh, once beating the game, you can save your game anywhere. I should say once 100%ing the game, um, like finding all the exits, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can save your game anywhere, so you no longer need those uh, signposts, but, you know, since you got to spend all the star coins anyway, um, it, it makes sense that you would um, <laughs> have some way to, some alternate way to save your game. And with that, it looks like the walkthrough right here, right now, is finished. I hope you enjoyed, and... I'll see you in the next walkthrough. Oh, and I guess there is one more thing that I haven't showed, did I?